Genetic upgrades, the rise of engineered humans. Imagine a world where babies are no longer just born, they're designed. Height, intelligence, disease resistance, even appearance, selected from a menu of genes. If current breakthroughs in CRISPR and gene editing accelerate, this future could arrive within decades. In the short term, upgrades begin in medicine. Parents erase inherited diseases before birth. Cancers, heart failure, even aging itself start to fade. The first generation of engineered children grows healthier, faster, and sharper than any before. But progress splits society. Those who can afford upgrades buy stronger, smarter kids. Those who can't are left behind. Class divides turn biological, an elite of enhanced humans rising above the rest. Education, jobs, even relationships begin to favor the design. By mid-century, enhancements go beyond health. Muscles tuned for endurance. Eyes able to see infrared. Memory boosted with precision edits. Humanity forks into two groups, the natural and the engineered. Governments scramble to regulate. Some ban upgrades outright, fearing genetic arms races. Others embrace them, hoping to outcompete rival nations. Black markets flourish for banned traits, aggression, obedience, or cosmetic design. The ethical weight is heavy. If your child could be spared disease, how could you refuse? But if perfection becomes purchasable, does humanity lose what makes it human? Best case, gene editing erases suffering, extends life, and gives humanity a healthier, brighter future. Worst case, inequality hardens into genetic castes, and humanity fractures into the modified and the obsolete. The rise of engineered humans isn't a question of if, but of how far society allows the edits to go. And once the line blurs, it may never be redrawn.